Welcome to Day Schedule. In this video, I'll be talking about round robin events. Round robin events are those in which meetings are equally distributed among selected team members. To create this round robin event, you have to choose the select button here. Now provide the information about your event starting with the event name. I'm taking an example of product demo, so I'm writing Day Schedule Demo. You can give more information in the description field. In the next field, you can choose the color for the event and the owner for the event. Owner can be you or any other team member. Use this drop down to select the other team member as an owner. Next, you can select the sales executive. You can select as many sales executives you want. I'm selecting three sales executives here. Now, the round robin will circulate the meetings between these sales executives. It will start with the first sales executive then assign the meeting to the second, then to the third, and again go back to the first sales executive. So this is how it will work in a circular fashion. Next, select the location. I'm using different location for different sales executive. To the first, I'm assigning Google Meet. To the second, I'm using telephonic call. And to the third, I want a physical location, so I'm using custom location here. And selecting physical, give the location name and the address, click on save. So the location has been saved here. Now click on next. On this screen, give the information about your event, starting with the duration. Let's say the sales team meeting is for only 15 minutes, then use 15 minutes here. And in the date range, date range tells for how many days your event will be active on your scheduling page so that customer can book the product demo meeting with your sales team. I want any date into the future, so my event will be active in any date into the future. Next, provide the schedule. You can create a new schedule here by using this button. It gives a schedule name, then click on save. So this is how you can create a new schedule or you can choose the already created one using this drop down. I'm selecting the default schedule. You can modify this schedule according to the sales team requirements. Let's say the sales team works only on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then you can select only those days and deselect the other ones. And you can change the time slots too. Let's say on Wednesday, the sales team works in two slots, starting with the morning slot and then to the evening. So the morning slot time will start with the 9 and goes till 11. Then the evening slot can be created by using this plus button here and provide the time slots. And the evening slot start with 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So this is how you can create multiple slots. Now moving to the next field, you can use a breaks too. Using these two fields, you can create a break before and after each meeting. Let's say your sales team need at least five minutes of break before the meeting. Then use this five minute here and no break after the meeting. Then you can use no break. So this is how you can create a break. This schedule also provide a minimum scheduling notice period so that your customer knows that they have to book before this minimum notice period. I'm writing 60 minutes here. Now click on the next. Over here, you can use the invitee questions to know more about your, in, about your client. Let's say you want to know where, how they come to know about the product, then use this question and it will be added on your main scheduling page. Your customer need to Fill this information before they book a sales meeting for the product. Let's write a question here. And choose the answer type. Answer type options are text, date, number, checkbox, radio, etc. I'm using checkbox here. Then give the options. You can even choose whether this question is mandatory or not using this checkbox. Then click on the add button and it's added on your scheduling page. You can even remove one of the questions if you want using this cross button. 
then this schedule provide more options where, which you can use for the event. Let's say you want to allow guest, then use this allow guest here and you can provide a maximum number. Then these many guests will be allowed in your event. You can also create policies by using this policies section. Use this add policy and choose the policy type. Let's say you want a cancellation policy, then click on cancellation and you can Spec you can give the number according to your policies. So this is how you can create policies for the event. You can use the additional settings to change the date and time format too. So now moving to the finish. So you have successfully created your round robin event. This is a URL which you can copy using this button and share it with your customers. I'm now we will be going to the main scheduling page by using this link. So this is how the main scheduling page for the day schedule demo will look like. Your customers can book a particular day and time for the product demo meeting. The biggest advantage of round robin events are you don't have to worry about whether one sales executive is getting more meetings as compared to the other. Round robin will automatically distribute equal amount of meeting to all the sales executive. So this is how you can create the round robin events. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe to our channel to learn more about product features and upcoming updates. Thank you.